For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use a Super Nintendo controller as a input in CircuitPython. Now this uses the keypad library, and the keypad library can deal with shift registers as well as matrices and other input methods. These Super Nintendo controllers and clones, like the one that we sell in the store, uh, use a shift register. So I'm using the shift register side of the keypad code, and I have it set up so that it just reads each of the different keys on the keypads when I press them, the D-pad here, uh, the select and start button, and even the shoulder buttons. And depending on which one I press, I get a different display here of NeoPixels. So the way this works is pretty straightforward. I've set up NeoPixel. Uh, also, I've imported the library for keypad. That's the, the main thing here. I've got a little list of names here. I've set up the keypad object right here. So this is a shift register. Its name is shift K. Uh, and it is keypad.shiftregisterkeys. Then we set up the pins for the clock, the latch, a value to latch, data pin, the key count, how many are on here, uh, and the value when pressed is set to false. So that tells us uh, which direction this is gonna go when we press something. Then in the main loop of the code, all I do is say the event is shift k dot events get. So it checks for any events that are happening on the device there. If something gets pressed, then I'm running this little pixel code here and printing things out. Uh, and when something is pressed, it returns the key number, event dot key number, and that's what I can pass to my little um, function that I have here for defining pixel patterns. And so it's really straightforward, very easy to use. You could use this to turn these into USB key presses or for pure microcontroller type of projects here without a computer at all. And so that is how you can use a shift register Super Nintendo controller as input in CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.